Hi everybody, this is Auto Tech Pro. Today we're in Sony 2014 Ford Mustang. We just replaced it with the 12.1 inch diagonal high definition touchscreen Telsa style system. Okay, this system comes with the Wi Fi, navigation, Bluetooth, and you support all the climate control and steering wheel control as well. Okay, original dash is like this. It also come the manual climate control but however this system also support the shaker sound system and also automatic climate control in this video i'm going to show you step by step how to use the system and the feature that come with the system first this system is the newest android 9.0 px6 platform and it also come the four gb of the memory this one also we also add the apple carplay to the system as well First of all, I'm gonna start from the navigation. This is the navigation here is very straightforward, very fast. The navigation is offline. You don't need to connect to any Wi-Fi to use the GPS. How to use the navigation? You just need to click on the bottom right corner here, new road, and then you can just enter the address here. It's also come the traffic update as well, okay? And other than that, you also support the original radio for sure. You also support the steering wheel control. Sleeping in the car in the southwest. No home, no job, no peace, no. The sign is very good. And. Okay. Other than that, this one also supports the Bluetooth. It also come with the Bluetooth music and Bluetooth phone call as well. This system also support the Wi-Fi. So how to connect to the Wi-Fi? Just click on the setting on top of the menu and then go to more setting and then network and then Wi-Fi. When you turn on the hotspot on the cell phone, then you will be able to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi on the hotspot and then you can access to the internet. So once we connect to the Wi-Fi, you can use most of the feature of the system, like the Google map and also the YouTube. This one also requires the Wi-Fi as well. You can also watch the movie from here, okay? Other than that, you can also use the Netflix here. This one, you can see that it's very fast. It's very smooth, okay? You can also watch the movie. It also come the video in motion. We also preload some of the software for you, like the Tube is just similar to the Netflix. Okay, we also allow you to watch the movie from Wi-Fi. You can see that. If you don't want to watch the movie from the Wi-Fi, no problem. You can also copy and download the movie from the computer and copy to a USB, and then you can also play that on the system as well, like VLC. Brixton. He's a ghost. We're gonna need the best trackers in the business. Luke Hobbs. You can see that the West solution of the screen actually is excellent. You know, it's gorgeous. It's IPS panel. We're gonna need to operate outside the system. Deckard Shaw. I want you might call that champagne. Oh wait, and then you can also download any application to the Google App Store from the Google App Store right here and we also preload the ways for you too and Spotify and you also support the Series 6 exam and now I'm going to show you how to connect to the Apple CarPlay first of all you need to go to the cell phone turn on the Bluetooth and then search it just wait for a little bit Perfect. Auto kit. Perfect. It's automatic. Use car play. And when you use the Apple CarPlay, just make sure the Wi-Fi is turned on. This is the Apple CarPlay interface here. It's very nice. on the screen and you can also make the phone call you can also go to your music use the Google map all the app is right here 
And other than that, it, you can also install the backup camera to the car as well. In this system, we already installed the backup camera. So I'm going to show you how does it look like. It's very nice, right? It's very clear. It's very huge screen for the backup camera. And now I'm going to show you the climate control. I need to turn on the engine first. Okay, now here we go. All the features are fully compatible. You know, if your car comes with the heat seat, you can also control the heat seat. But since this car does not originally does not come with the heat seat, okay. But if you come with the heat seat, no problem, okay. This system will also support it, okay. And this one also supports it. You can change the temperature here. It also supports the dual zone climate control. If your car comes with this feature as well, okay. Just click on this one. You can change the mode of the van. And we have the foster here. It's perfect. And the circulation mode. Perfect. Everything is fully compatible. If your car comes with the dual zone climate control, you can just turn on the dual zone here. Alright. And now I'm gonna talk about some of the setting about the system. Okay, this is our newest version. Okay. So basically you can go to the setting way right here. First of all, you can set up the default navigation software. You can also change the default navigation software to Google Map or Waze, depends on the, your personal preference. And the app preference, you can set up the shortcut here. The shortcut here right now is change it to the Apple CarPlay. And you can also change your language. It comes with multiple language here. Equalizer is the newest version of the equalizer. It also comes with the 16 band of the equalizer. It's very professional. One more thing is this system will allow you to connect to the aftermarket amplifier. It also comes with the subwoofer output and also the four channel RCA output. So it will be much more easier for you to connect to an aftermarket amplifier. Other than that, you can also go change the dimmer here. User settings right here. It's very nice. And also you can also change the radio region. You can also change the boot up logo as well. You can also change the car to another color as well. This system can also be purchased from our website www.autotepro.com. If you guys have any question about the system, please feel free to contact us Autotepro. We will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.